Hi, and I'm here with Conan Rowan, and just prior to the Aga Khan Trophy. And Conan, what's your role here in the RDS? Uh, multiple roles actually, Hugh. I'm commentator over the Simmons Court, mainly for the pony classes, um, and also I give Mags our numero uno starter here in the main pocket, give her a dig out on the busy times, which is coming up to the Aga Khan. That's when all hell breaks loose, live TV, everything needs to be coordinated and, and maintained. and. So I mean, like that's a pretty critical job. I mean, you know, you, ha you have to sort of make sure each horse arrives on time and is yeah. also given sufficient time so they can prepare and be ready and the horse yeah. warmed up. Yeah, and there's you know things can go wrong. Um, so it's trying to keep everyone primed, ready to go, and just keep that arena busy. There's thousands of people watching it, and you know they want to keep the flow to the whole day and keep you know, keep it happening. And so the other really big thing is that as well as the thousands of people that are alive here at the arena, there's TV coverage. Yes. Worldwide TV coverage, yeah. TV yeah. coverage. Yeah. and of course, you know, they have the timings have to fit in with yeah. adverts. They have all the commercial slots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in the booth there, you have a guy from RTE sitting there with headphones, and uh, he's queuing mags. So right next to us in now, you know, in three minutes there's a commercial break. You know, we need to stop then, and so it's all just choreographed. Yes. Normally it goes well. Yeah, yeah. Normally. Well, there's a hell of a lot of organisation. Yeah. And because, as with everything, the animals come first. So yes. you have yeah. to let the horses warm up properly. Yeah. You know, be loosened up, limbered up, and when they're ready to go. Yeah. They have to go in, but yeah. I mean, you can't keep a horse waiting no. uh, just no. for you know, a commercial. For the sake of a couple of thousand euros, exactly. no. So therefore, that's your job, yeah. you know, to ensure yeah. that horses yeah. aren't kept waiting yeah. and that all the timing is correct. Yeah. And there's, there's that, we've also, there's the egos of riders as well. That's uh, sometimes a bit difficult to contend with, but you know, you get around it. You know, some riders, they like to, they, they want to be in control and they have their, their like almost their lucky way, the way they their routine. They want to come in there either just before, maybe they want to be there a minute before the other horse. So there's you got to jostle the whole so thing like together. The bigger the bigger picture. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they must yeah. see the bigger picture yeah. because yeah. you know, and obviously, every if you're a rider and your own horse, you don't want to think about that. Yeah. But at the same time, it's the competition as a whole that you've got to think about. Yeah. And the organisations here, the yeah. audience, got to think about. It all, most times they coordinate well, quite well. Everyone's cooperative to the best. And you get to know what rider. Some riders like to be in there. You know, while the other horse is jumping, maybe the horse is quiet, maybe they're sightable. You know, and yeah, you I get mean, to know which horse wants what. There are individual idiosyncras yeah. idiosyncrasies of each horse. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's right. Yeah. Some horses need quite a little warming up. Yeah. Other horses need lots of warming up. Yeah. And some horses get hot and excited, and others are very cool, and calm, and laid back, or maybe even need to be poked up. Yeah, poked yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Poked up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so obviously they're getting ready now. These are the Cossacks behind us now, but yeah. shortly the, t the international teams will be coming in, and they'll be going around the arena for the parade. Yeah. And does the parade does that is that likely to upset horses? Do you think when with all the oh, bands yes. and music? Yeah. When you're in that arena, there's nothing like Dublin Arena. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to be actually in the middle of the arena on, on foot, and the atmosphere is electric. And uh, it's like an amphitheatre. When the bands kick off, big brass bands, it's you know, it's full volume, full on, and uh, it tends to get the horses going right. They, they would be used to big displays, big, you know, loud music. Yeah. Certainly, in all the other shows around Europe, but they're not always used to a big brass band. Yes. Uh, going full throttle. So um, for for a show jumper who's on the team maybe for the first time and has yeah. never experienced it before, yeah. that's another thing to contend it's with, it's isn't it? It's a whole yeah. new uh, experience. Whole new experience. And it's very you, you can't prepare for that. Okay. Even playing a stereo at home in the stables, that's not going to prepare for no, that. No, no, you know. <laughs> and tell me, what about what about you think the chances of the Irish team today? Home grounds. Um, they're doing really well. You know, we're in sniffing around the top of the league now at the moment. Um, Safe, we're not going to get relegated, which is fantastic, bar an absolute disaster, which I hope that won't happen. Um, could we win? Yeah, it's always a possibility. Yeah. The the support of the crowd here is is incalculable. You know, when the yes. crowd get behind, yeah, that's, new, new that's worth a lot. Yeah, that's worth an awful lot. You know, that's worth at least two scoops of oats yeah, 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 <laughs> and yeah. uh, a lot of luck. Yeah, yeah. Um, new team member today. Big uh, day for Nicola Fitzgibbon. Nicola, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's she's a girl. She's 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 workman like. She'll get in there. She'll get the job done. Yeah. Um, haven't a chance to speak to her yet. We're going to have a chat with her a little later on. Wish her certainly wish her best regards. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but she was always one you'd, you'd, you'd mark. Yeah. yeah. She's she's and, a good rider. And a lovely horse of puissance. Yeah. 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 I remember him jumping as a six-year-old up in Cabin, six to seven-year-old classes, jumping substantial fences. And uh, that's a few years ago now. And you know that, he was always one to watch then. Always. Yeah. Well, great. Hopefully, you have a good day yeah, and an Irish success. Yeah. Yeah. Here's hope.